Development of the M60 pattern began in 1957. It was designed to counter the threat posed by the Soviet T-54 and T-55 medium tanks, that were superior in all aspects to the US M48 medium tanks. First prototypes were built in 1958 to 1959. The M60 was the first main battle tank, MBT, built in the United States. It was designed around a new concept of general-purpose medium tank, that had the firepower of a heavy tank and a weight and mobility of a medium tank. At that time anti-tank weapons outpaced armor development. By the 1960s anti-tank rounds could easily penetrate up to a meter of steel, so importance of heavy tanks was diminishing. The new US main battle tank was well armed and well armored, highly mobile, yet it was cheap enough to be built in large numbers. Production contract was awarded to Chrysler for a first batch of 180 MBTs. Production of the M60 commenced in 1960 at the Detroit tank plant. However the initial version was produced only for two years. In 1962 it was replaced in production by improved M60A1 MBT. Introduction of the M60 pattern soon made the heavy US tanks obsolete. The definitive version was the M60A3. It was adopted by the US Army in 1978. Production of the M60 series ceased in 1987. More than 15,000 of M60 series tanks and variants were produced for the US Army and export customers. A number of these tanks were exported to US allies and remain operational to this day. Foreign operators include Israel, 1400 MBTs of various models, Egypt, 700 M60A1 and 1016 M60A3, Iran, approximately 200 M60A1, Italy, 300 M60A1, Saudi Arabia, 450 M60A1 and M60A3, Australia, 170 M60A3, Turkey, Taiwan, and a number of other countries. In terms of design the M60 is a further development of the M48 medium tank. It has similar outlines as the M48. A number of components were carried over from the M48A2. However the M60 featured significantly improved armored protection, more powerful armament and engine. Also this tank had many advanced equipment. The pattern tank has a cast homogeneous steel armor hull and turret. The M60 was better protected than the previous M48. New commander's cupola with heavy machine gun was added. The early model, sometimes referred as M60A0, had the M48 turret. However it was fitted with a more powerful M68 105mm rifled gun. It was a British L7 tank gun, licensed produced in the United States. At the time the L7 was a standard NATO tank gun. It was used on contemporary tanks, such as French AMX-30 and German Leopard 1. The gun of the M60 could be replaced in field conditions. Early versions of the M60 had no gun stabilization and could not fire accurately while on the move. The tank required short stops in order to aim and fire its gun. The 105mm rifled gun could penetrate 120mm of rolled homogeneous armor at a range of 2,000 meters. A total of 60 rounds of five different types were carried for the main gun. These include APFSDS, APDS, HEAT, HESH, and smoke rounds. Secondary armament consists of coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. There is also a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, mounted in the commander's cupola. It is fired under full armor protection. Some M60 tanks were fitted with a searchlight over the main gun. The M60 was the first US tank, fitted A with diesel engine. Previous US tanks were powered by petrol engines. The M60 was fitted with a Continental AVDS 1790-2 diesel engine, developing 750 horsepower. This engine can be replaced in field conditions within 4 hours. The M60 tank has a torsion bar type suspension, which is made up of 6 road wheels with the idler at the rear, with 3 track return rollers. The M60 pattern and its variants could accept a variety of combat engineer equipment, including mine rollers, mine plows, and dozer blades. These allow the tank to proof, breach, or clear minefields while in contact with the enemy. Dozer blades also allow for many other capabilities, such as clearing debris, cutting roads in contested terrain, digging entrenchments and other earthworks. 
some export operators of the M60 Patton MBT locally applied a number of improvements to their tanks in order to increase their survivability.